This year's Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, which begins with the keynote on June 10th and runs through June 14th, will see Apple playing catch-up when it comes to AI. This year shouldn't be any different from previous years as the business usually concentrates on its anticipated fall software releases and makes some hardware announcements. However, there is a great deal of uncertainty around the company's approach to generative artificial intelligence as of this year. Apple is said to have been investing millions of dollars every day in training its own models. There are also rumors that the company has been pursuing agreements with news outlets for training content. However, other recent sources have hinted that it would strike an agreement to provide cloud-based AI features through Google, OpenAI, Anthropic or Baidu, or Baidu in China, while retaining all of its own generative features on device. According to a recent Bloomberg story, Apple may even allow any AI developers to access its ecosystem for deep integration into its products. Naturally, the business has long discussed on-device machine learning. Nevertheless, given the current buzz surrounding generative AI, Apple appears prepared to brag about its capabilities there as well. Aside from AI, the company's other operating systems, including watchOS, macOS, iOS, and iPadOS, should continue to release new features on a regular basis. The iPhone scenes feature, new accessibility shortcuts, and the flexibility to arrange app icons anywhere you choose are among the rumored upgrades. It's even feasible that Apple may release two new AirPods models, an upgraded AirPods Max with USB-C, and an entry-level model that replaces the mid-tier AirPods 3 with noise cancellation, but maybe not much else. Naturally, the introduction of the eagerly anticipated Vision Pro headset was the major event of last year. However, Apple also revealed other items, such as a redesigned watchOS with a focus on widgets, standby mode in iOS 17, desktop widgets for macOS, and yet another pitch to the gaming community. Apple also revealed a revamped Mac Pro with an M2 Ultra CPU at WWDC 2023, marking the final step in the company's silicon shift, which also ended up inside a new Mac Studio. With the release of the 15-inch model, the MacBook Air also received positive attention.